Come out of your shell to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell's from here. I have a shell on my pants leg and I have a shell button on today, but I don't have any other shells around my house. For some reason, I guess I'm not much of a sea gal. For somebody who loves the water, I don't have many sea life things and creatures around me. My one sister does. She decorates everything in her uh, lake home with the Florida theme, even though she's in Texas, and has the turquoises and the coral and the shells and things like that all over her house. But I personally live in Wisconsin and have more rustic things around me and more teddy bear and grandma things around me. So today our idiom, our expression for supersize your business is come out of your shell. This is of course a communication related idiom for the month of September to coincide with the BU 365 day challenge. We're talking about what does it mean, where does it come from, and how might we use it in our business today. Well. This idiom means, of course, to overcome shyness or to overcome inhibitions and somehow speak our mind, speak up, say what we're thinking, say what we're feeling, take action on the things that are important to us. And they're not exactly sure where it comes from, but they think that a gentleman by the name of Ebenezer Bruiser, or Brewer, not Bruiser, Brewer, believed that it came from tortoises because turtles are in their shell and when there's danger or they're afraid of something, they hide in their shells and then they come out when it's safe again. Or it could be from um, birds pecking out of their eggs and getting out of their shell and, and becoming, growing up and maturing and they can't fly until, of course, I think it was Tennyson that wrote, bird can't fly until it uh, pecks out of its shell or until the shell uh, is gone. I, I definitely need axing that. doesn't matter. So it's been around for a long time. Now, <clears throat> what this idiom and expression means to me is that as we become more confident, which we talked about confidence all last month, we have opportunities and we'll see opportunities and take opportunities to come out of our shell, become who it is that we really are. Uh, I remember when I was younger, we had um, and all worked in a family fireworks business. We would hire, uh, you know, friends of the family and and other kids, and some of them were really really shy. I remember some sisters, Diane and her sister, and a, a young man who's now a doctor named Ben, who were really really shy when they first joined us in that business. And I would say, our kids weren't particularly shy, at least when it came to sales and, and sharing their passion and their enthusiasm with people when it comes to fireworks, me included. I never think of myself as much of a salesperson, but I adore fireworks. And when you're excited about something, it's easy to get other people excited about it too. But uh, I remember watching these kids transform over just a, a really short period of time. Maybe it was just a couple of days or a week or two when they would be really shy and introverted and then all of a sudden they're interacting with the people that would come into the business you know, automatically and on a regular basis. And it's really fun to see people come out of their shell and be who they really are and to be excited and enthusiastic about things. We want to create that with our businesses. As we're growing and building and supersizing our businesses, number one, we need to be excited, passionate, enthusiastic about what it is that we're doing for people, what it is that we offer them for products and services and solutions to make their lives better, to make the world a better place. And if we're not enthusiastic about it, how on earth can we ever expect other people that work with us in that business or people that we want to do business with us to be excited or enthusiastic about it? But we have to find ways to communicate that enthusiasm to the people we serve, the people we work with, etc. Uh, I think my friend Iona mentioned the other day that delegation is actually a leader in management responsibility. It's our responsibility to grow and develop and help the people that work with us in our organizations to be who they really are, come out of their shell, because when everybody is being who they really are, it sets the example for others. And it makes people more fun to deal with. You know what to expect from people when they're out of their shell and being who they are, etc. So love to know your experience with this particular idiom or expression. <laughs> Guarantee I've used it before. I don't think I've had a huge challenge coming out of my shell. I think that life experiences have more likely shoved me back into my shell than me being afraid to stretch my comfort zone and come out of my shell. But in some situations, I still am, as we all are. That's why we become lifelong learners and as we're building and growing and, build and supersizing our businesses. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another communication-related idiom. If there's one you'd love to know the meaning or how we could apply it to our business, ask. 
Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.